Hi, I want to tell you how Jesus found me. I am born in Christian family in name only. In my family I had many confessions. My father was Orthodox, my mother she was evangelical, and my grandmother she was Maronite. So I was I had all kind of confessions in my family. I went to many kind of meetings. I was open mind, so I didn't have any preference. And then I was 13 years old. I heard the word of God by a Muslim guy. He was he was Muslim and he believed in Jesus and he was saved from sin. And how his family persecuted him. They wanted to kill him, but he escaped and he was testifying Jesus everywhere. So I was very amazed how this guy, he was a Muslim, and he believed in Jesus, and he was saved. I'm a Christian, I don't know Jesus. So I knew that I must one day I must come to Jesus. He's the only way to go to heaven. But I didn't repent it. One day we, we went to the beach with my friend. We were playing. In the, in the water, in the sea, and the, the waves took us away deep, and we didn't know swimming, and we were drowning. I saw all my sins behind me, and I saw I was dying. I said to the Lord, Lord, give me another chance, and I will repent. I said, I saw the hand of the Lord. He took me from the waves, and he brought me to the beach. There was no man. We were crying, screaming, no one helped us. And my friend, he was with me, now he's in Canada, he can testify it. It was the Lord, he saved us. But I didn't repent at that day. After three years, I went to Italy, I made my high school there, and then I came back to Lebanon. I entered to the Lebanese army. I was in the war, and I heard a voice was speaking with me. It was the Lord. But at that moment, I didn't know. He said to me, now you are in the war. You are a soldier. If you die now, where will you go? To hell or heaven? I knew that I will go to, he to hell because I knew that Jesus was alive. And then he reminded me all the words of that Muslim guy, how he told me about Jesus. And then I left the army. I didn't repent after one year only. After one year in 1987, September, I prayed with someone. I repented. And the Lord changed my life. I was born again. I had peace in my life. He, he removed all my sins. And he saved me from sin. I was, he took my stony heart and he gave me a heart in flesh. And from that day, my life changed. Everywhere I was testifying about Jesus. Everywhere, to Muslim, to Durzis. Even they, they put uh, two times the gun on my head. They wanted to kill me because I was preaching about Jesus. I never afraid. I continued. And one day, I was distributing leaflet. I met two men. I gave them a leaflet. It, the leaflet title was, He Died For Me in 1989. And that man, he was, he took the leaflet and he tore it and he began to insult God. And he wanted to catch me so he can insult me also. And I was a little bit far away. And that man did the same night, the Lord, he took his life. He was the Lord and he screamed. He woke up in the midnight, he screamed, my hands, my hands. And he died. The Lord condemned him as he made with Herod. On the appointed day, Herod, wearing his royal robes, sat on his throne and delivered the public address to the people. They shouted, this is the voice of God, not of a man. Immediately because Herod did not give praise to God, an angel of the Lord struck him and he was eaten by worms and died. So this man... He was judged by God. He was alive and he died. And I saw the judgment of God as 
Sodom and Gomorrah, the Lord destroyed it. He destroyed this man. So the Lord showed me the, his judgment for this man. From that moment, the Lord changed me. He gave me a big mission. One day we were praying before a seminary and we were fasting, making fasting and prayers. And I was praying and crying. I was singing, give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. And the Holy Spirit came down on me. I had got fever and the Lord filled me by the Spirit. From that moment I was preaching everywhere and He gave me the power of the Holy Spirit. So, and, and after I got also many visions, I saw I had a woman, I talked to her about Jesus. She was a, the mother of my friend in the hospital. She didn't, she said to me, I don't want to repent. I gave her an invitation. And the, the same day, the Lord gave me a vision. I saw my friend, he was coming to me. He said to me, my mother, she will die. And I said to him, my, your mother will not die. She will be saved and she will live. And I went to the hospital the, the next day. I told them the vision and I prayed with her. She repented. She accepted Jesus. And then the doctor, he, they, she, he said to them that she will die in one week. And she lived for three, three months. And the Lord glorified in her life. So then I continued with Jesus till 2001. I came to France. I was destabilized, destabilized in my life. I changed my culture, my traditions, my friends. It was very difficult moments. I, I was away from the Lord. And, and I got the Lord. He removed my lampstand, lampstand in my, from, my, from its place. And I was fall down. I made a video before. You can watch it. And I also got many warnings. Till uh, the Lord, he woke me up in 21 May 2008. And the Lord, and repent, I repented, and I gave him again my heart. And now the, how, the power of the Holy Spirit came on me, and he gave me many messages about his coming, about the rapture. He showed me my own rapture, and many, many things, many messages. You can watch my other videos. So come to Jesus. He's waiting for you. He's alive. He can save you. And you must be faithful till the end so you will have the crown of life god bless you